After you escaped from Walt, what did you do? Ooh, tough one. I did anything I had to in order to survive. All right, like what? That's another question. Drink. No, he's just making you answer the first one. Who cares what he asked? It started way before that. When I escaped from Waltz. Frank helped me. He showed me that there's something else I can do with all my anger. Back then, I thought I'd join them. Be a night runner someday. Ugh. Who was I kidding? They were wiped out at the VNC Tower. Frank lost almost everyone. The night runners fell. Frank started to drink, gave up on life, on himself. <laughs> so, I'm not a night runner. But at least I have my list. <sighs> Good night. Did I ask the wrong question? That's the beauty of this game, Pilgrim. Sooner or later, you get to the wrong question. I'll see you soon, I guess. Gadjo! Here you are! Thank you. Thank you for the vodka. Thank you. Let's drink! For me? And another year in this shithole. You're not the worst, you know. Are you finally warming up to me? Nah, it just means there are worse assholes. And that I'm drunk. Where's Leva? I saw her with you. Now we played the game, and I asked the wrong question. About her life after escaping from Waltz. <sighs> gajo, gajo. You got her thinking about the past. Listen, and I'm not telling you this because I like you. I don't even fucking know why I am telling you this. But never, never ask Lavan about her past. You get it? Good. Now, get lost. It's my birthday. snack, isn't he, dear? Care to join? More the merrier. No, thank you. Oh, have I embarrassed you? I'm sorry, I do have that effect on people. I'll wait for you, but make it quick. I must admit, I admire your persistence. Almost curious what you do after I send you packing, yet again. You'll regret it. Sixteen-year-old Highland single malt. Modeled a year before the pandemic broke out. I've read that one barrel of this stuff sold at auction for over half a million dollars. <sighs> what a sublime present. <laughs> G. 
to your health, handsome. What can I say? You broke down my defenses. So, you're still after those lamps. Did Matt tell you why he wanted them? Why he really wanted them? Yeah, to take control of the TV tower. Wait, he's serious? Is he crazy? Nobody tried that for over a decade. Matt wants to prepare to defend the city from the Butcher's coming attack. So, we should start building him a monument, right? Only problem? The Butcher isn't planning any attack. How do you know? I have my spies. Among the renegades as well. Since the end of the war, we have occupied the city center. While the Colonel squats in the dam. One push of a lever. And half the city will find itself under toxic water. The Colonel is not stupid. He knows war would be the end of everything. So why did the Butcher attack the canteen? That's in the city center. Good question. Maybe it wasn't the Colonel who gave the order. Something more is going on. It's something we don't yet understand. What about the UV lamps? Why does he want them, then? Jack is hiding something. For a while now, he's been ordering way more lamps than he could possibly need. And then some of those lamps always disappear. No accounting for them once we deliver. Why would Jack skim UV lamps? And here, friend, the mystery takes flight. Jack never got over the fact that he didn't defeat the Butcher back when he had the chance, years ago. He knew that if he attacked the dam, the Colonel would close the floodgates. And the rising water levels would push the chemicals up out of the ground, burning through everything that lives in the city. And it's been a stalemate for over ten years, each waiting for the other to make a move. But then, someone turned the power on and something changed. And the renegades attacked the canteen. I'm not here for my health, Juan. I need the lamps to... To find out what happened to your sister. Right, Aiden? I told you I got my spies. Might be able to find something out about Waltz and your sister. Specifically about the GRE scientist you and Matt are trying to contact. I'd even say with my resources I can find this person faster than Matt. I actually doubt he's able to find them at all. Let's help each other. Smart man, Aiden. Barely in town a minute, and you've picked the right side already. I'll give you the lamps. That'll keep Matt from getting suspicious. But then, go to the cathedral. There's a guy hiding out there. Total nut job, but a tech savant. Get him to fix this old piece of spy tech. If we get it working, we can bug the transmitter Jack wants to place on top of the VNC spire. Have him do his thing. By tapping Matt's comms, we'll find out what he's doing with the extra lamps. And knowing he's half the battle, kiddo. Hey, enjoy your company, but I'll need you to go now. Juan, Juan sent me on an errand into the cathedral. Is there anything I should know about? Not much. Just that people say it's haunted. Haunted? <laughs> By what? A ghost? Yeah, right. 
Anyway, the cathedral's been locked up for years, but there's scaffolding around it. You can probably use that to climb to a window and get inside. <laughs> Still sure you want to run errands for Juan? Might as well. Suit yourself, big boy. Welcome, stranger. This is where your journey ends. Many have come here. None have left alive. Sometimes, I wonder what you feel. Primitive beings. Thieves overcome with greed. Surrounded by wonders you cannot comprehend. And then, I get bored of wondering. And just kill you. What the fuck happened here? Hey! You there? My name's Aiden. I just want to talk. on here.
furious. Like a beetle, ignorant of the foot above. Hey, I got a job for you. And I got a surprise for you. I hope you like this room. Because it will be your final resting place. Hey! Oh, great. Hmm, the cables. I've got to find a source of power. Surprise!
Go on. Kill me. Just tell my son I died like a warrior. What are you talking about? Kill me. She sent you to do it, so do it. I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. I, I have a job for you. What? So you're not an assassin? No, I just came to talk. You're an engineer, right? I have a name. Kurt. What do you want? So, um, who's this woman who wants to kill you? Vagina dentata. A vagina with fangs. Wait, what? A major bitch who wants my balls on a platter. That good enough for you? I see. Maybe I can help. You don't know what you'd be up against. I handled that monster down there. Leto! She was just a poodle with a speaker by comparison. Who are you really? I'm a pearl cast before swine. I'm a king without a kingdom. I am tragedy made flesh. Right. You mentioned you had a son? Like everything else, taken away from me. I know how that feels. Spit in any street in this city and you'll hit somebody who lost a loved one. Okay. What was it that you wanted again? I need to plant this bug on a radio transmitter, but it needs to be fixed. I'll make it worth your while. <sighs> Impossible without a few parts. What parts? Uh, the wiring is corroded. You can find replacements in the North Tower. The army left their gear there. How will I find it? It would be protected from the elements. So look for a box below the antenna. All right, fine. And uh, what's your price? Let's leave that for later. As a surprise. I really don't like surprises. <laughs> Good luck. What is this place anyway? The biggest church in the country. It was believed that a god lived inside. But I've been sitting here for almost ten years and haven't met one yet. <laughs> this place is huge. Well, those who built him believed that this way they would get closer to God. But when the epidemic came, it didn't help anyone. Why did you murder those peacekeepers? I didn't murder anyone. I defended myself against people who wanted to rob me. Wouldn't you do the same if strangers broke into your home? I don't know. I never had a home. Oh, this is a hell of a hard climb. A marvel, isn't it? A miracle of architecture, the pinnacle of human achievement, our ancestors' crowning glory. And today, we just climb it like monkeys. Got it. Well done. I can see it's hard to discourage you. Yeah, I'm stubborn. Well, perhaps you will be of use to me. Return to me.
You have it? Good. <sighs> Wait a moment. You did it. Wasn't exactly hard. Okay, so... What's the surprise? What do you want in exchange? You have little to offer that to be any use to me. Wait, what? I'm a programmer. In a world of people who only eat shit and sleep. What could you pay me? A pigskin? Five bottles of booze? The surprise is... I did it for your friendship. Oh, well, that is a surprise. I'm honored. I guess. You overcame my traps, defeated my defenses. Let's trust one another, Aiden. That will be my reward. Okay, Kurt. And, uh, thank you. One. Success. Kurt fixed the bug. I knew you could handle it. But you totally undersold how unreal this guy is. I told you he was just this side of batshit. That's why I don't like being alone. Don't want that to happen to me. What now? Not over the radio. Come to my quarters on the ship. <sighs> Fixed. Shh. Keep it down. Sometimes the walls have ears. Do you know what this is, Aiden? Looks like uh, a pellets, buckshot. Oh. <laughs> Dios, que triste. These are eggs, Aiden. You have some really small chickens. Fish eggs. Beluga, to be exact. Straight from the Caspian Sea. Considered to be the only true caviar in the world. Dissolves on your tongue. Letting you taste the waves of a black deep sea in a faraway land. The world is full of beautiful things. Beautiful sensations. Pretty boys and pretty girls. But humorless grunts don't notice that. They kill for the future and they forget the present. They? The major mats of the world. Please, join me. I've taken care of the UV lamps. Has Matt confided to you why he needs lamps in a place with no electricity yet? And how he's going to carry out this suicide mission? That's what I thought. Contact him. Tell him the lamps will be delivered to the TV station. Hey, Matt, the lamps are ready and waiting for you. Got it, Aiden. Good work. I hope Juan didn't give you any trouble. Juan said that the TV station has no power. What good are these lamps to us if we can't turn them on? Juan's just fucking around. Don't worry about that. Juan? Nah, he barks a little, but I can handle him. Good approach. Rabbit dogs must be kept at bay. And when they try to bite, put them out of their misery. Aiden, it's time we meet and talk. 
about how to take that damn antenna. Wait for my signal. Roger. That. As you can see, Jack likes to give orders. Stay close to your radio. You'll be informed of the meeting shortly. Trail, scout out the situation. You're Aiden? They're waiting for you. Come on. The meeting's in the VIP room. The mood's friendly. Like fucking Christmas at my family home. Who do you think you are, you fucking liar? Calm down, Jack. Before you pop a vessel. This plan is total shit. Do better. How about this? Do nothing. It's definitely simple. Commander, isn't it high time we put this shit before a firing squad? Wow. The dog started barking. Guess I better behave. All right, whoa, fellas. You brought me here to plan something, right? Aiden, these are the VNC tower plans. Once we get the power back on, we can reestablish communication. People throughout the city will learn about our mission. They'll be able to join in and help us. So, you plan on broadcasting propaganda? Whatever it takes to defend against the renegades. When the Butcher sees how strong we are, he'll retreat. We'll prevent war. However, there are a few matters we need to take care of first. See this building? This is an electrical substation that powers the district. If we get it running, we'll be able to power the VNC tower. Our unit is already on its way. Step one is securing the perimeter around the TV station. My men will do that. I'll head out, sir. Of course, Ro. Good luck. We won't disappoint you, sir. Yes, we'll do our best, sir. Who asked you, Wisbowski? Now move your ass and wait on us. The next time you speak to me like that in front of my soldiers, I'll take my life and cut your fucking cock off! Oh, imagine all the grieving tonsils. Shut up! Can we just get back to the plan? Thank you. After Jack's puppies secure the entrance, my men will bring the lamps and set up an outpost. And then, if everything goes smoothly, which it definitely will, since the plan's author is the commander-in-chief himself. I'm warning you. You'll turn on the elevators and ride it to the top. And when you get to the roof, you attach the transmitter to the antenna. Got it? A lot of people say this place is dangerous. You don't say. Dangerous? What place isn't dangerous in this town? Our best people are on this mission. You'll be working with Roe. He can be a real pain in the ass, but him you can rely on. And you can always get in touch with me. The entire building is powered by the electrical substation. Roe's men will secure the perimeter with lamps. I got it. You see, Juan? That's how you obey orders. 
or get yourself killed. But my neck's not on the line here. See you at the TV station. It's a great day we've all been waiting for. Yes, a great day to die. This time, the Carnage Hall tournament will be more extreme. Oh, took a break from assassinations to come see me? I'm just trying to keep you out of trouble. What do those warmongers want? Ask me to climb to the top of the VNC tower. What? Sons of bitches. You know what that place is? The tallest building in the whole damn city. But I can do it. I hate those fuckers. Roe Meyer, they're solid. But Jack and Juan, they're destined to stab you in the back. What's the problem? Oh, nothing. Except that's where Frank lost all the Night Runners and his leg. Jack and Juan are throwing you to the infected wolves to further their own goals. You're just a tool to them. Fucking lunatics. That's all right. The PKs will be with me, Jack said. Did Jack maybe mention the creatures that live there? I know it's dangerous, Luan. I have to do this. I've heard there are things there. Things no one has seen. Or actually seen and lived to tell. You sound scared. Of course I'm scared, Aiden. Oh, I didn't know you cared. Fuck you. Look, a few years ago, Frank tried to do what Jack is planning, and it was a tragedy. Don't believe me? Ask him yourself. Aiden. The entrance to the TV station is secured. We're just waiting for your lazy ass. Aiden, you there? Talk to Frank, Aiden. Please, don't do this. Aiden, answer. Okay, I'll talk to Frank. Thanks, Aiden. You're doing the right thing. Ro, I'll be there as soon as I can. Something came up. Hurry, Aiden. We're all waiting for you. Frank, are you alive, man? Yeah. Huh? Ravik? I told you to fucking leave me alone. Now it's me, Aiden. Who? Oh, it's you. What do you want? Tell me about the VNC Tower. We were so close back then, Aiden. So close. Despite what the others said. <laughs> I really did have a good plan. A solid plan. But it was a bloodbath, Aiden. A bloodbath. Frank, how do I get to the rooftop? We went in without a full team. <laughs> Bastards. If they'd only had faith and stuck with me. But one lost faith and let the others astray. <coughs> who was that? A Judas. That's who. If it wasn't for Rav... <sighs> past is dead so they say <laughs> what matters is <sighs> that was the end of the night runners okay but how can i get to the rooftop <laughs> you can't nobody can now fuck you What the hell? Come on, Frank, pull yourself together. Luan told me to ask you about the tower. 
What do you want to know about that, hello? I'm gonna climb the VNC tower. What can you tell me about it? That it'll kill you, you idiot. You will die like everyone else. Like all of my friends. Frank, help me. How can I get to the top of the tower? You can. Nobody can, not without power. Got it. Electricity is your only hope. Gotta make sure the power's on. On my way. Over. substation what's going on don't know but we have to reconnect the power some of our boys have already gone into the tower there's no one closer than you will you check that out yeah sure i'm on it with renegades, bro, but I'm handling them. Bro, I took care of the renegades. Good work, Aiden. Power up that substation. Fast.
Martin. Thanks for the help, PK Dog. Now, be a good boy. Get lost. No, it's time for you to leave. Or else. Was that a threat? Hmm. I'm shaking in my steel toe boots. Fellas. <laughs> Think he'll squeal like a stuck pig like his buddies did? Let's check and see. Hey, Ro, it's all powered on. Ro? You receiving? Are we receiving? Everything's shining like a fucking Christmas tree over here. <sighs> Is everyone all right? Yeah. Boys are going deeper into the building. The area will be secured soon. All your ass over here. Time to do some climbing. to apologize for already waiting for you. But if electricity really brightens the place up. But the fucking elevators are still stuck. Power's not getting to them, it seems. Now the building's been switched off for years, right? We need to check the electrical relays. Why ain't you a fucking genius? The boys are in the dark zone already working on it. They're trying to locate the power distribution room in the smaller tower connected to this one. When my men switch on the elevators, we just go up and... Oh, fuck me. It's Row. Power's out again. Command says the substation is online and working five by five. It must be here. Leon, we have a blackout in the main hall. You? Affirmative. We're in the dark again. God damn it. Get out of there immediately. You got that? Leon. Just leave it. Get out. Now. Leon! Leon! Fuck. I have to get to them. I'm with you. They split up between Carter's A and B. I'm taking A. You go through the recording studios. I'm on it. Good. If you're there before me, just get them out before the dark gets too dark. And watch your back. We have no use for dead meat. Leon, hold on. We're coming for you. I need to get myself a new weapon in the army. This way, Aiden. Corridor B. Good luck. I'm gonna need it, huh? Take this. You're gonna need it more than me, bro.
Bro, I'm in the lobby. Roger that. Don't wait for me. The bastards cut me off. There's like 20 of them. I need to get back to the main hall. Make your way through the maintenance room to the basement. The power distribution room is down there. That's what it says on my dog tag. Where's the rest of the squad? They got us. Damn volatiles. This is where my story ends, bro. Hey, man, don't talk like that. Is there any more survivors? Aren't you the blind optimist? Chris. <sighs> he punched through and went that way. The blackout. I think it was his doing. Get the power back. It's the only way to get the elevators working. The terminals are in the basement connecting both towers. Please, take this letter and give it to my wife. She's on the ship. Yeah, sure. You can count on me. Just hang in there. I'll find Chris. Bro, I know what happened with the power. I'm on it now. I'll connect these terminals and restore the power. Did you find any of my boys? Only Leon and possibly Chris. The rest, uh, they didn't make it, Rob. I'm sorry. Okay. Just, uh, be careful, Aiden. We can't lose any more men. Chris? Ro, I'm here. The power won't come back on. Shit. You'll have to check the fuses. I think I restored the power. Get the cable from the power distribution room and get out of there. This had better work. Inhibitor container detected.
Reactors are working. All right. I did it. Ever gotten a medal, Pilgrim? Never. I'll cut you one. Out of a potato. We're going up to set up a temporary camp. See you on the eighth floor. Where's Leon? I'm sorry, Ro. He... he didn't stand a chance. I knew it was a fucked up idea to come here. I got something for you. Thanks for what you did for my boys. I... I know you really tried to help them. What is this? A proximity tool. The GRE tagged more important goods with special RF markers. This might come in handy. Once all the antennas are working, you can use it to detect important containers and stuff. Lord knows what's waiting for us once we actually get to the roof. But you won't be alone. You'll have my men with you. And Lieutenant Rowe himself. Well, you're coming? I've had enough of leading from the back and hearing my people die. All right, let's go then. We're waiting for Matt. He's bringing the transmitter and he'll oversee the operation from here. So, you have some time for a nap or to take a dump. Just somewhere outside the camp, pretty please. Hey, are you crying, man? I ain't crying. Fuck off. Just miss the fucker, okay? <laughs> you know what Leon would do if he saw you like that? At this point, he'd probably bite my eyes out. Mind if I join you? Be our guest. How are you feeling about the mission, Aiden? Yeah, we made it this far, didn't we? We'll see it through. Or die trying, right? <laughs> oh, nice boots you got there. Oh, thanks, man. I got them at the bazaar. Real cheap, too. Oh, no, did you have to? Now he won't shut up about them. Yeah, he traded his official PK knife for them. And when Roe found out, I had to clean latrines for a week. But it was worth it, no? Now, I have my eye on a nice jacket at the same place. Just can't afford it at the moment. But this mission will earn me some extra, so I can buy it soon. Will you shut up already? We don't care about your wardrobe. You're just jealous, because you look like ass, and I get all the pussy. <laughs> all your mothers, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are you looking forward to after this is over? My wife, Marsha. Our child is due any day now. I'm over the moon. And we've been trying for a long time to have a kid. And it seems finally I did something right. See? I told you somebody needs to come over and give you some help. <laughs> Bro sure is a hard ass. Of course he is. You know his story, right? You've seen the burns on his face and neck. I was there when he barged into a burning dark zone just to pull out one private. Yeah, the guy can be harsh, but... Not a lot of people will lay it on the line like he has. Damn right. Can you tell me anything else about Ro? When he and Matt had a major falling out? Yeah, it was hell. Squad 101 had orders to take over the old city warehouse. Thought it was empty until they went inside. They turned on their flashlights and looked up. Ceiling was weird, covered with clumps of rags. And then... The rags jumped down. They were a fucking scary breed of infected clinging to the roofs and walls. Hundreds of them. God, you could hear the boys' screams for miles. Fuck. Imagine that. They radioed command, but the orders were to hold the position. They didn't. They ran away. At least those who could. Afterwards... Jack ordered their executions. They were deserters. But Roe defied Jack. Said that sending them there was a mistake in the first place. 
We thought Jack would have Rose shot for insubordination. Sure did. Okay. Time to get some shut eye. Just a moment, gents. Special treat for the night. Wow! You rock, Lieutenant. Here's to our fallen comrades. To the fallen. And pretty ladies. Why do you want to exclude your wife? <laughs> <laughs> Hang it in there, guys. We are, Lieutenant. We've been through worse, right? Remember the volatiles in the old port? Well, that was a carnage. It was, and we pulled through. We'll have another good story to tell our families. Am I right? You are, sir. Something's bothering me, Aiden. The renegades. And what about them? They're everywhere. Spreading in the city like cockroaches. But here, the biggest antenna in the city, strategic place, and no renegades at all. Ah, it's not like anything else they're doing makes sense. Good point. First, someone turned on the electricity. No idea why. And then, when I questioned a renegade officer, he babbled something about GRE facilities they're trying to locate. Didn't make much sense if you ask me. X-13 or something like that. But I'm worried what they're planning. X-13? I've, I've heard about that place before. Oh, yeah? What did you hear? I know that Waltz is hunting for it as well. Any idea where it could be? Well, if it's real, it could be a GRE complex. Top secret. Well hidden. But once we're done with this motherfucker, maybe we figure out what it is and find it first. But for now, get some beauty sleep. Infected like us more when we're rested. That was a nice tune you played. Let's hear some more. Sleeping Beauty! Aiden! The head honcho is here, let's roll! Your map brought the transmitter? Safe in my pocket, boy. You expect to sell the Finn here? Aiden, you're doing great so far. Yeah, we're trying, right, Ro? I've got good news for you. I've received intel on a certain GRE doctor. Who is it? Where? I still need time. Let's finish our job here first. You and the squad will go to the top of the tower and mount the transmitter. Ro will be with me down below. I'm going too. Ro, this again? Really? We have a plan. Fuck the plan. We don't know what's up there. I'm not sending my men up there alone. Fuck the plan? Not losing my squad again. You know I have to go. <sighs> Just fucking come back. Understood? Yes, sir. If you need anything, you can reach me over the radio. I'm fine. Get to work. Sir, you all right? Go already. Guys want to hear a joke? No, oh, where's Bowski? Fuck, please. Oh, I'm begging you. I'll give you my last clean pair of undies if you spare us another one of your jokes. Keep calm, gentlemen. Oh. Where's Bowski? Fuck. Sorry, boss. Won't say a peep. You're off key, dumbass. It went like this. Whoa. Commander, sir, what's going on? Elevator stopped. The power's unstable again. It's a huge building. We're on it. Thirty. So you got another fifty to the roof. 
Right, boys. You heard the commander. Open her up. Let's get hiking. Where's Bowski? Recon. Careful, Wispowski. Looks clear. Wispowski! 